So let's go ahead and discuss the blood supply of the stomach now, all right? So the arteries involved in supplying the stomach come embryologically with the blood supply of the foregut because we all remember stomach is the derivative of foregut. We studied this before. And what was the main artery of the foregut? And that artery was celiac trunk. I hope you all remember. So remember this, before I even get into the uh, blood supply of the stomach, let's talk about a little concept because that's what I believe in. If you understand this concept really well, you'll never forget the blood supply. Otherwise, uh, you can totally memorize the blood supply, which won't really do you much good because concept is key. It's like the basis of your knowledge, right? So celiac trunk is going to give the LPS branches, all right? L is known as the left gastric artery. It's gastric, which means gastric means related to the stomach right so let's take the gastric artery and go close to the stomach got it then it gives the p this is the proper hepatic artery oh it says hepatic that means it has to go to the liver so instantly you draw this artery towards the right side all right keeping in mind this is the right and this is the left side because stomach lies on the left side then we have the s branch the s branch is the splenic artery and where do you think the splenic artery will go the spleen lies to the extreme left of the stomach. So obviously it has to go over there. So take it there. So these are the branches coming from the celiac trunk. All right. These are the main branches. Now, what branches do these branches give? So let's see. This is the proper hepatic artery. It actually begins as the common hepatic artery. Uh, however, distal to its origin, it becomes the proper hepatic artery, changes its name. All right. Uh, the proper hepatic artery gives a branch called the gastroduodenal artery. All right, so obviously since it's gastroduodenal, uh, draw it close to the gastric part and the duodenum, right? I hope that makes sense. All right, so after the gastroduodenal artery, the similar proper hepatic artery gives a branch known as the right gastric artery, all right? The gastroduodenal artery further gives a branch known as the right gastroepiploic artery, all right? Then we have the splenic artery right here. Let's take it all the way to the spleen. And here it gives a branch known as the left gastroepiploic artery. So now that we know the branches of everything, celiac trunk giving the LPS and then the proper hepatic artery further giving the right gastric and the gastroduodenal and gastroduodenal further giving right gastroepiploic, whereas the splenic is giving the left gastroepiploic. Keeping all of this in mind, now let's give the stomach blood supply, all right? So, along the lesser curvature, what do you think should supply? What is lying closest to the lesser curvature? This is the left gastric artery. So, along the lesser curvature, uh, the left gastric artery will give supply and an artery of the same name will also accompany the left gastric artery in supplying your lesser curvature. I hope that makes sense. So, now we know that number one is that the lesser curvature lesser curvature is supplied by gastric arteries and now you know what are the gastric arteries derived from the left is derived directly from celiac trunk whereas the right gastric artery is der derived from the proper hepatic artery of the celiac trunk now it's going to be super easy right uh, next let's talk about the greater curvature uh, what supplies the greater curvature we had the two ep gastroepiploic arteries so these are what will supply the greater curvature from this side the left gastroepiploic coming from what the splenic artery and then we have the right gastroepiploic artery supplying the greater curvature helping the left as well so then we have the greater curvature being supplied by the gastroepiploic arteries now there is an area that is left this area is the fundus of the stomach what is going to supply the fundus of the stomach? From the splenic artery, five to seven short gastric arteries arise and they supply the fundus of the stomach. So this is the basic blood supply of the stomach. However, it's not over yet because blood supply also contains uh, not just the arterial, but also the venous supply. So remember this, the, are the veins of the same names, like the left gastric vein, right gastric vein, right gastroepiploic vein, left gastroepiploic vein, short gastric veins, all of these same names, they all drain into the superior mesenteric vein, the splenic vein, and the portal vein. That is your venous supply and your uh, arterial supply complete. So I really hope that makes sense to you because now not only do you know these basic points, you also know the depth or the background of all of these because it's necessary to know what these arteries are branches of that actually has to be on your fingertips.